Hey guys, so today I am here with Christy Kerr. She identifies as a demisexual. We're just gonna talk about what that is and how sometimes it can be confusing to tell if you are demisexual. Okay, so first I think we should just lay out a general definition of what demisexuality is. So how would you define demisexuality? I would say that demisexuality is a person doesn't experience sexual attraction um, unless it's like with a person that they already have like an emotional connection to which the amount of emotional connection can like vary and then demisexuality can also be used as an umbrella term for like someone who's both demisexual and demiromantic so they like don't experience romantic attraction without like a bond so how is that definition different from just having a dating or sexual preference where you don't want to have sex or date someone who you don't have that connection with like demisexuality people like actually don't experience any sexual attraction towards people like people who just you know they like might be like dating someone but don't want to have sex for a while um if they're not demisexual they could be experiencing like sexual attraction towards that person and just choosing not to act on it mm -hmm. but a demisexual person would not have that sexual attraction at all until a point potentially so is it not even a question in your mind of whether or not you would date someone until you experience that bond like you don't even think about dating or having sex with that person as far as dating goes um there's been a part of me that's kind of like wanted to explore more casual dating at times like i've only ever dated people who i was like close friends with first. Same. There's a part of me that's kind of curious about more casual dating, but it never enough to have actually done it. Um, but as far as sex, like, I couldn't even imagine having like casual sex with anyone. The attraction and desire is just not there. So we're talking mostly about sexual attraction, but how would you define that? Because I feel like it can be a little confusing, especially if you're not sure if you're demisexual of what that means. Right. Um, it's definitely hard to define and I've seen people define it in different ways, but I guess I would say that sexual attraction is like just adjacent to sexual desire. Like sexual desire is taking it one step further of like, you see someone and you're like, I would like to have sex with them. Sexual attraction is more like, I guess kind of like I could see myself having sex with them, not like I actually like definitely would want this, but like it's hard. It's hard to define, especially because yeah. like I've experienced it so infrequently. Mm -hmm. I know it when I have it though, mm -hmm. um, which is a big sign of dem like demisexuality or asexuality is if you're not sure if you experienced it, a lot of times that means that you haven't. A lot of times you'll know it when it happens. Because mm -hmm. I was watching a video that Elena Fender and Chandler Wilson did together and Chandler identifies as asexual like on the a spectrum and elena identifies as allosexual which means like you do experience sexual attraction without that emotional bond necessarily chandler asked her so you just see people walking down the street and you think yeah i would have sex with that person <laughs> and elena was just like yeah that's what i do and i was like that's not what i do yeah no that's so, very strange to me yeah i feel like that's not really a thought that i have and i was wondering if that was just that I experienced like aesthetic attraction to people and mm -hmm. that like I can see someone and be like they're really attractive but I never have the thought of like I want to like pursue a relationship with that person mm -hmm. or I want to have sex with them necessarily right and then I also saw my friend Brie was tweeting about how a lot of people aren't joking when they say they would have sex with their celebrity crush yeah and I was like whenever I like have like my little like celebrity crushes on people it's always like me imagining being really close with them first and yeah. then having sex <laughs> and i didn't realize that that wasn't a part of other people's like celebrity fantasies like they just want to have sex with them and that was like yeah. wild to me that whole thing seems so like fake to me like it's hard for me to even imagine like you know, having sexual attraction to someone on the street that for a while I kind of was like confused about my demisexuality just because it seemed like everyone would be demisexual because like, yeah, this doesn't happen, right? Like people aren't just sexually attracted to people, but they are. I didn't even think that the way I experienced attraction to people was different from other people until I learned about demisexuality and I was like, wait, not everyone feels that way. <laughs> it's different than having just a sexuality label where you're like gay or bi mm -hmm. or pan. Why do you feel it's important for you to identify as demisexual? Part of it is just because like the second I saw the word, I was like, 
that's me. It clicked instantly, which isn't the case for a lot of people. I felt such a strong connection with it immediately, but I also, to a certain extent, like identify as demisexual and talk about it, like to help other people who like could be struggling with their sexuality. Like that's the main reason that I talk about it on YouTube a lot is because I know that there are people who doesn't know who don't know what this is and who could like really benefit from it. So I put my sexual sexuality out there like for that reason. Mm -hmm. How do you think that people benefit from hearing about it? There's a lot of people out there who've kind of had like the opposite experience as us where they like hear about sex all the time from their friends and feel really isolated because of that. Like I've gotten a lot of Tumblr asks of people who are like really freaked out by the sexuality of their friends and feel really alone and are like so excited to discover the word demisexuality because it like to them means that there's not something wrong with though. That's really the people that I want to reach out to the most. I guess just like for people who think that they might be demisexual, like usually the advice I give is that no one can define your sexuality except for you. Like if that's a label that feels comfortable for you, definitely go ahead and you can even like try it out. Like you don't have to just be like, I'm demisexual, this is how it is. Like this will be it for the rest of my life. Like you can just kind of like play around with thinking of yourself as demisexual. I mean, even if you have experiences that align with like experienced demisexual people have, that doesn't mean that you have to label yourself if that's not what you're comfortable with. Okay, so now you know a little bit more about demisexuality if you were confused or just hadn't heard of it before. And Christy talks a lot about it on her channel, so you can go watch her if you want some more information or if you just want to follow a really cool person on YouTube. And I'll link all of her stuff in the description and we'll also be doing a video on her channel if you want to go watch that. Bye! Bye. <laughs> 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 I'm here to confirm that people do look at celebrities or like people on the street and feel sexual attraction to them. That's real. Hi. We have a real Thank aloe you for sexual your here. Token aloe is yes. here.